goodness, look at this freaking box. Oh my goodness, would you look at that. It's a pretty darn good angle, huh? As you can see, you might already be able to tell from the video, but, or from the, uh, <clears throat> from the uh, title. But here we go, man. We got this here. It's my size, size 13 or whatnot, man. <laughs> I like the reveal so far, man. Looking pretty good. I might have to make this a part of my normal routine. Uh-huh. What do we have here? Oh my God, just looking inside the box is just making me feel like, oh my Lord. Oh my Lord, he just... Would you, would you look at that? Would you look at that? <laughs> oh man, my favorite pair of Jordans, man. Oh, my favorite, my favorite five is very quickly becoming my favorite uh, number of Jordans. Oh my God. Hold up, let me move this out the way. Would you look at this, man? I'm looking at it at this for the first time with you guys, looking at this shoe. And uh, man, I'm loving it. Obviously, you guys have seen this in so many other YouTubers' videos, shoe YouTubers' videos or whatnot, and they, you know, they showed you the shoe and everything like that, and probably better quality than the one I'm showing you right now, but man, <laughs> I'm loving what I'm seeing, man. Shoot, even just this right here kind of gives you, it almost feels like snow, it looks like it, you know, it's so white, you know what I'm saying? It's like snow white almost. At least that's the way it's coming off on there because of the lighting, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I love it. I love this, that little mesh part there. I love the, uh, you know, of course, just like I told you guys before, I don't know what this is called or whatnot, whether it's new bug suede or whatever the heck is the people be calling it nowadays, but, uh, a lot of uh, shoe YouTubers talk about this part of the sneaker for the fives and saying that this part is different than uh, the way this part of the toe comes up and the stitching and everything like that is different than the the, red, the old ones, um, you know, the ones back in the 90s. But I like the new design. You know, if this is the new design, you know, to where the, the stitching comes out a little bit further this way, I like that uh, better than the, the older where the stitching might or this this little lap right here might come further forward. I would prefer it to come out this way because it, it gives it more of a boxy looks look instead of a, a rounded off look. And I like that um, on this shoe. But yeah, you know, and I'm looking at I'm looking at it in the camera and everything like that. And uh, it does look like you know the shoe kind of looks maybe ashy right now, but it doesn't matter. I, I like the look of it, man. I really do like the look of it a lot, man. I'm just looking at it right here in person and <laughs> Yeah, now that I'm looking at it more so in person, I can tell that the shoe is not perfect. It may look perfect here on the camera, but uh I can definitely see some imperfections, but just like I said, it's it might be according to, you know, I got these on the sneakers app, I want them on the sneakers app. So I know that these are real shoes. Uh, oh, I like that. I never noticed that before on the tongue. It has a little mesh part or whatnot in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I like that a lot. Uh, actually, I think I am gonna wear these shoes. I might start wearing these sometime soon because I really do like the look of these shoes, you know. So far, I haven't really had anywhere to go, so I haven't whipped out any of the shoes that I showed you guys. Um, I do have my Jordan uh, 14s, which I wear all the time. Um, I think they're called the Lightnings or something like that. They're like the yellow uh, Jordan 14s. Man, <laughs> I'm loving this shoe, man. I don't know how much you guys can see of it or how clear it's gonna come out, but shoot, I'm super loving this. Yes, sir. Super duper feeling this. Then we got the other one. Yes, sir, baby. Yeah. Yes, sir, ski. Feeling it. I 
I love the bottom. The bottom is beautiful. Love that color. It's a, it's a very nice contrast. Of course, black and white is always a nice contrast, but then even that, this bluish kind of uh, clear part right here, I don't know what to call it. I'm not a super sneakerhead. I'm becoming one, but I'm not quite all the way there yet. I, I have not reached my firm form, but uh, I like the contrast between the black here with the Jordan. I, lo I love the Jordan uh, etched out right there. Oh, I actually like these side panels right here. Hmm, I wonder how they f that feels when you know, pivoting or even uh, cutting, you know, switching directions or whatnot on, uh, on a basketball court playing or whatnot. Hmm, I wonder if that's what that's there for, to be like a reinforcement for when you're cutting side to side or whatnot, you know, real fast. But uh, yeah, I love the contrast between the blue, of course, the, the Jordan logo inside there. I love that. That's pretty dope. That's very uh, thoughtful that they, uh, they have it on both sides and it's not exactly the same, you know. I guess if you're walking straight ahead like that, if your feet are straight ahead like that, no, they're still kind of different. Well, yeah, they kind of had a different angle. I like that, that's pretty dope. These shoes are actually doper than I thought they were gonna do in person. And I think partly the reason why is because some shoes look better in a larger size and some shoes look better in a smaller size. But uh, I'm actually, this shoe, Looks really good in this size, in a larger size, size 13 versus a uh, size, uh, you know, like a size five. I think this shoe kind of probably looks good. This shoe really looks good on women too. I like this shoe for like a, a smaller foot. I like the way this looks on, on uh, smaller feet people. Um, and uh, but there's certain shoes that own, that look better for a larger size feet and then other, other shoes that look better for smaller size feet. Uh, but to me, this one, it looks good in every size. Um, but I think it looks even better. It probably looks its best uh, in a larger size, I think, just my opinion. But I really like that. It almost looks like, uh, I don't know how I wanna say this. I'm thinking of the snow because of the white, but on the inside, um, but I don't know, it's kind of giving me like snow boot type vibes or something like that, or like a boot type of vibe with like, uh, this material right here almost looks like, uh, I don't want to say it, um, I don't want to say feathers or feathery or anything like that, but it's just a nice material. It feels really soft on the inside. And, uh, of course the, I love these, these bubbles that kind of pop out on the sides of, uh, that's one of the parts. One of the part of the design of this shoe that I really like is the back of the shoe and how this part comes up a little bit higher, rises up higher. This part right here comes up to the area where it's at and it has the bubbles on both sides. It's almost uh, feels like it's supporting your ankles or it's like reminiscent or representing uh, the place where your ankles would be at, you know. And uh, yeah, I like it a lot. So obviously I'm not a sneaker head and I'm just giving you guys my opinion. I might be super completely off on the different things I'm saying about this shoe, but or about any of these shoes that I, I, I <laughs> give my opinion on or whatnot, but you know, I am a sneaker head in the making. And uh, I like these shoes a lot. <laughs> Feeling it, oh, got, does it have the stars on the, on the front? No, it doesn't have the stars. So this is the first Jordan that I've bought so far that I can think of that doesn't have those stars on the front. It has those, you know, normally it has the stars in front. <laughs> but this is the pair of Jordan, first pair of Jordans I've bought. Brand new ones that don't have that star and those stars in the front. But yeah, man, look at that. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> the back part of the shoe. Oh man, I'm loving it. So I still haven't got the Bordeaux. I don't know if I told you guys about that. I wanted to get the Bordeaux. I wanted to get the Bordeaux sixes so bad. I didn't get those. Um, but uh, I, I went and started looking in the stores, and there's no stores uh nearby me that uh, actually have the shoe i only went to a few stores actually um and uh you know i mean i'm out here in the bay area northern california so you know it's people are really serious about their shoes out here i've come to realize man i do this in almost every single video very nice very nice i like that <laughs> yeah so these this videos are not about me they're about the shoes man you don't need to see me. Oh my goodness, would you look at that? Would you, would you look at that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm loving it, man. Oh yeah. 
Yes, sir. Okay. Oh man, I love the way these shoes look, man. I need some more Jordan Fives. I've been wanting. I want. I tried to get the. Uh, I tried to get the Raging Bulls when they came back out on it when they re-released on the uh, the Nike app. I was very disappointed. You know, within the first ten minutes, they were already sold out. Especially for my size. Um, of course, they had a few other ones. I think they had the six uh, pairs. I think they might have had the Bordeaux again. No, they didn't have the Bordeaux. They had uh, a few pairs of the sevens, I think, and then uh, and then they had some other pairs. I think like some low 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 top twelves or something like that. Yes, sir. I'm loving this shoe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's make sure we continue to reach for our dreams and accomplish our goals. Peace. Hey, bro, watch your jet. Watch your jet, bro. Watch your...